guys, Tyler here. I'm going to be doing a bit of a showcase of a brand new feature that came in the recent update of Balloon Steve 6. It is the Golden Balloon. The Golden Balloon is something that only appears on one map of each difficulty type. This one is Cracked, so we're going to hop into Cracked. I think I'm just going to replay Hard Mode, and we're going to check out what the deal is with this Golden Balloon. Is it easy? Is it hard? Was it due? So here's what I know. There's a lot I don't know, but what I do know is that it's a balloon that is meant to give monkey money instead of in-game cash. It is something made to help people who are grinding for monkey money have either an additional challenge that's a little bit more fun, or just, of course, gain a bit extra monkey money in their process. So we're going to see how effective it is at doing such a thing, and we're going to see if we can pop it. I know there's going to be multiple golden balloons coming over the course of the game, also lol lives, who needs them? And they're going to be of varying difficulties, so we're going to have to work our way up to maximum gold balloon poppage. Now, if the golden balloon is anything like Balloons TD5, at least what I barely remember of Balloons TD5, I think it's going to be really fast. It's going to be a fast balloon, so his texture is probably going to be horrendous against it. But we have it anyways. So something that might be alright against the fast balloon is something with full map detection being, well, the sniper. And I figure we're just going to target it to golden. Uh, just kidding, such a target doesn't exist, but hopefully strong prioritizes the golden. Mm, you know what, we're going to have it on first just in case. Who knows how this targeting priority stuff really works when the golden balloon comes into play. I have no idea. Now, I have seen the Golden Balloon. It's very fast. I tried to do a showcase of it on an expert map. However, it's, like I said, very fast. You don't get a chance to react to it. So I thought this uh, intermediate map would be perfect for a showcase. And with that in mind, hopefully we can get up decent enough defense for this. And uh, maybe get some monkey money off of it. Now, I don't know how much monkey money it gives or, you know, if it's worth it or anything in that regard. But I'm hoping at least it's a decent amount, something to make grinding worth it. Although I'm a massive opponent of grinding. I'm not a big fan of grinding in games like this. Trying to grind up monkey money is not worth it. And I don't really fear that I'll lose my monkey money. If I run out of monkey money, I'll just have Twitch chat buy me some more. So I'm thinking that really I'm mostly doing this for the challenge of the golden balloon. So with that in mind, I find it to be a strange feature, but yeah, hopefully it's fun. I honestly might just go full sniper defense with um, the potential of the golden balloon. Because if I have full snipers and they just instantly vaporize anything that shows up on screen, how is a golden balloon? Oh, here it comes, by the way. How is it going to beat us? Oh my god, it's fast. It goes backwards. Um, we're not popping it. Okay. <laughs> that was close. I do have $1,600, but I'm like, okay, I need an emergency ice tower. So, round 21 is when it shows up. I don't know if that's consistent. And it gave us, was that three monkey money? I was so caught up in the fact of, the, the fact that it was just absolute chaos, they didn't realize we only got three monkey money from that. Um, <laughs> so a little bit of a joke as far as grinding is concerned, but like I said, there's going to be multiple golden balloons. So if we see four or five over the course of the game, then we're going to get 12 or 15 extra monkey money. Yeah, that's really going to help the grinding people do, uh, get into more races or whatever the hell they're spending their monkey money on. Because, I mean, holy crap, right? Uh, so that balloon is fast. I think what I'm going to try to do then is get a glue gunner for it. Yeah, I'm thinking if we slow it down, we'll stand a better chance, but I don't know. I'm hoping for the best here. Maybe I could just stun it with an ice tower. Actually, yeah, wouldn't that make sense? Like, I just permanently freeze it with an ice? I probably don't want this tack here. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, Ben's Trojan is a, an escaping fish. It's a puffer fish. Right, I haven't actually done Ben's sushi skin yet, which is criminal because I love uh, doing Ben strats. But I've been doing Adora and also... Or not Adora. Oh, what the? Wait, it's camo. It's a camo. Um, uh, Distraction Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay it counters glue due to the fact that it's camo good thing i had that still well let's get a distraction ninja in the back then get it to um double shot or really i should probably just have these have camo detection maybe give them a little village now that i know that that can happen in the future what is it gonna be fortified next is it gonna be a golden moab 
I believe that one also gave three monkey money, so I'm expecting them all to at this point. It seems pretty cool, uh, for what it's worth, that it has different properties. Because I, from what little I know of Bloons TD5, I didn't know that, uh, or I didn't expect the Golden Bloon to have any camo properties at any point. So I imagine with Glue Hose and the Ice Stall now, I have a hard time believing any future Golden Bloon will screw with me, but who knows. I think I'll just get a few more buffs just to be safe. Stuff like primary training, jungle drums. I could get some more DPS inside here. Something like, maybe something like a wizard. What if it comes with purple properties though? Well, then I'll have to accept my fate. But if, if so, the ice tower will still be fine. That's a huge range on it too. Get a little deep freeze just in case. All right, we're waiting for you next golden balloon. I swear the update uh, patch note said they come every 10-ish rounds or sometime within every block of 10 rounds. So maybe once during the 20s, once during the 30s, once during the 40s, so on and so forth. Farth? Fourth? What the, What am I saying? And this ninja, I think I'll still keep the ninja. It might be nice to have an emergency distraction in case the golden balloon decides to teleport or something past my ice tower. Because I'm pretty sure that happened. Or pull some other tricks. Maybe it'll zap some of my towers. Oh, here. It didn't hit the ice tower yet. Is, is, that, is that lead properties? I think that is. Wait, what? That has lead properties. Oh, we barely popped it again. So the ninja wasn't going to do anything to it. Did this just not try? Did this not try? Did any of this try? What even did damage to the golden balloon? I can't tell. It seems they keep getting more and more powerful. So I gotta find some other way to slow it down. What about ice ability? Yeah, yeah, I could try snowstorm. Well, not gonna try it this time. It's camo and it's lead this time. Uh-oh. Um, let's get acidic mixture dip. Maybe I'll distract it. Come on. I, my snipers can't kill it. It's camo and lead. Rip. This did a little bit of damage. But alas. Dude, okay. Well, I really want to get the ice ability now. I don't think this is useful at this point. I really, really, really wish I'd placed this in the range of the village or just done something smarter with that. But with Snowstorm and then Arcane Spike, maybe we'll stand a chance. So we've seen a Camel Lead Golden. We've seen a Camel Golden, a Lead Golden, and Regular Golden. I'm expecting Fortified soon. Yeah, I'm expecting a Fortified Golden Balloon. Now, I don't know what that's going to... How bad that's gonna be, but may I might need multiple snowstorms for such an event. Also, note that we didn't leak any lives when leaking the golden balloon. That's because uh, the golden balloon is not concerned with our mortal uh, currency units such as money and lives. It only operates in the ethereal monkey money, three of them to be exact. But uh, I'm ready this time. Bring on your goldest of balloons. We have to know. Oh, here it is. I think it was fortified. Wait, it's frozen. Oh, wait, the ice tower is affecting it. We don't even need the abilities. It's just permanently frozen. Oh, what is this? <laughs> we got six from that one. Okay. Uh, in all, I guess, respectable amount of monkey money then. If it really comes every 10 rounds, I mean, I could see that being like 30 monkey money in a run. Almost 40. There is nothing wrong with that at all. But yeah, I bought all these abilities, and it turns out it can just be permanently stunned by the ice towers. So what? Did the one that got get by just have light balloon properties where it couldn't be frozen? That's my only guess. Either that or it was just so fast that it just happened to go in between shots, or it teleported, or just some other BS that I couldn't get lucky with. Well, we've seen almost every type of the golden balloon so far. I'm now waiting for the 70s one. Where it might just be a combination of every type of Golden Bloon we've seen so far. And it probably won't be a big deal because I have those Ice Towers. Or maybe it'll also have White Balloon properties. If it does, at least I have a couple of abilities on my side. So I can at least react to it. But it's going to be scary. I know Golden Bloons don't show up in free play. So maybe I should have done in poppable mode. But I didn't think that far ahead. I think Golden Blooms do show up like in the 90s and or 80s and 90s in Impoppable mode as well. I don't think there's any round 100 plus Golden Blooms, but for Impoppable it could give you maximum. Oh, here it is, I think. It looks like a ceramic. Yeah, but it's frozen. 
It does look like a ceramic. It gave me six monkey money again. Nice. It definitely seems easy once you find the right defense, but getting there was uh, no easy task. I'll have to look up and see if any of the other golden balloons that come in the 80s and 90s are more tricky, or if it's just more of the same. Because if it's more of the same, then we're really not missing out on anything, and uh, we kind of get the general gist of them. It's an interesting challenge for sure, but ice towers definitely nullify it. It could be fun to see maybe some golden balloons with white balloon property, or just can't be stunned. Maybe Moab properties, <laughs> for what it's worth. That would be wild. Oh, it shows my total tally. 21 monkey money in total for 5 golden balloons. And my regular rewards of this map were 88. So it's only an extra 30%-ish. It's not a bad deal. It's not terrible. It's more just something fun. Do I see people hunting out the golden balloon and grinding it? Not really, because I'm pretty sure people just grind deflation mode, and this doesn't show up on deflation mode, so I don't see the point. Maybe people would be more willing to grind the other modes, but... I don't know. I have a hard time believing it, to be honest. But it's certainly an interesting concept. Kind of fun. Let me know what you think. Do you enjoy the golden balloon? Do you think it's a waste of time? Not worth the monkey money it gives? Give me your thoughts. And I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Have a wonderful night. Peace.